Uh, what's up guys, this is Michael here. Uh, in last video, um, we talked about the basic steps you can uh, use to uh, integrate your modified SWOT version into SWOT Weaver. After that, a lot of users has been contacting me to see, oh, uh, that's to generate, to general, we cannot follow along to uh, do that our, ourselves. So they want to have some step-by-step -step tutorial video to cover all the steps so they can uh, create that uh, uh, modified version uh, themselves to be used in the viewer. So today in this video, I will uh, cover all the steps. Uh, so hopefully you can uh, create uh, the, uh, the modified version yourself to be used in the viewer. So we want to first talk about the software we want, you want to have to uh, make this happen. And uh, the first software you want to use is uh, the software called source tree. Basically, this uh, source um, is an interface to connect to different source control softwares. Um, so you need to go to source tree app.com to download this um, uh, program. Uh, it's free, so you can download and install that. So we will use this to check out uh, uh, the repository from the GitHub. So the second one will be your compiler. So either you will have some Visual Studio and uh, and installed. So right now I have the Visual Studio Community version 2015, and then you need to install the uh, Intel uh, uh, the uh, Fortran comp Composer or some other version. So make sure you can see this in your Visual Studio. They will have uh, uh, integrated Fortran functionality to your Visual Studio. Um, also, you can use other compiler like JFortune, but uh, we, uh, in this video, we will use Interfortune for this video. And um, after you have this software, the next step you want to do is you want to go to uh, first thing is you want to check out the, uh, the branch I have in the JDHub. So basically, uh, that uh, repository the code repository will have uh, the, the code that you want to use to integrate your modified version. Um, so, so that's the link. So I will add this link in the description, description below so you can copy them. So basically, I will copy this uh, link and uh, switch it to our source tree here and go to file and go to Button and I will paste my I copied the repository link here and click here so you will automatically create a folder for me so this will will be the location and uh, they will call uh, the clone this uh, repository to my local computer so we can use for our modified sword version. Um, I think this, um, yeah, you can change that if you want, but uh, I will leave that alone. So you click this button here, you can see it started doing some work, then it's done. Um, after this, you can see uh, you have uh, uh, different things here. Um, I don't want to like, touch a lot here, so uh, basically what we have here, we have different uh, uh, tags. Uh, we have the we have the, the SWOT version 6.27, SWOT version 6.64, that's our base version in the, uh, for our work. Also, I have the SWOT circular version 6.27 and the circular version 6.64. So basically, these two versions here will be from the SWOT, the standard SWOT, uh, and these two will be the uh, corresponding version that can be used with the viewer. So basically, uh, if your code is based on 6.27 or 6.64, uh, you can uh, use uh, you can use this uh, uh, code base to integrate uh, to our viewer system. But if not, we also can use that. But uh, maybe need more uh, more work to do. So anyway, so we will come back later to use the use the source tree. Um, so after you uh, have that repository, so next step you want to do you want to uh, copy copy your uh, your code 
So your source code for your modified swallow version uh, into uh, the, the location we just uh, copy the location we just used for our uh, repository, right? So for example, uh, I have an example here. Uh, I use I, what I use is a uh, modified version published in a paper called an improved spot vegetation growth module and is an evaluation for four tropical ecosystems. So this guy has been developing a modified version called SWOT Tropical or SWOT dash T. So and uh, what they have done is they have changed some of the code here. They have the code here. They have changed all this code uh, based on the version of 6.27. So, so I will use this code to show you guys how to uh, make that happen to run this uh, tropical version into the viewer. So let's go back to the source trade and see of code. See, in the source trade here, you we have 6.27, 6.27. Because our code is based on, on 627, what we want to do is we want to create a branch based on 627. So what we want to do is we want to select this tag here and go to the toolbar. There's a kind of branch. And you can give a name. So called, because it's called SWOT. Then call SWOT here and create a branch. So you can see that's a branch created and it's based on 6. 27. Then I will go to my working uh, folder. Yeah. So you can see all the code is here. So it's 627. Because this is just a, the standard 627 code, it hasn't been included our modified code. So we will go to our modified code, this folder, and copy all this file. And copy and go to our this repository folder and paste, and I will replace all the file in the in that folder. Okay, great. So I they so in after we we do that, so all this code here will be our modified version. Then we go back to the source tree and uh, select here. Uh, and select here. You can see you have a new line here. Say uncommitted changes. Because we, we just add our modified portion to the code, so you will have some modified part, right? You can see all this changed. We also have a new file here. So what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, uh, stage all here, click the button, and uh, click commit. So we want to give them a commit uh, got quality and change. Something like that, and then commit. Okay, so after we commit, so all all our changes based on this 627 be in that uh, commit. So next step is the most important one. So we want to, uh, as you may know from the last video, and actually the viewer used a special version, also a version um, called Swell Circulite. Version. So what we want to do is we want to merge this version here and these are our modified version swat dash t here. So what we want to do for this one is we want to select the swat t of branch and click this button merge here. Uh, in the list we want to select the uh, swat circulate 627. So we have this one. And select this one and click OK at the bottom. And then they tell you you will have more uh, conflicts in your working copy that need to be resolved before continue. So what I mean, that means oh, uh, both these changes has changed the same file, and uh, the program don't know how to put them together. You need to manually. Uh, um, to tell the program, oh, I want this portion, but not that portion. Or maybe I want both portion, and uh, something like that, right? So it, it's not a big deal. It, they will uh, resolve that, that. So we call that. And then we go and see, we have different change. And uh, 
you can see this bar, uh, this file, other file is okay, right? Um, but this file, you can see you have a, uh, the, the down here tell you this, uh, and this guy has uh, some conflicts. So it's called model uh, parameter dot f. So we will go to our folder and see uh, what we can do for that file. Basically, we do go to our folder here and find that file model. So um, we need to resolve the conflicts. So what I use here is called some software called Tautorous Jit. So basically, they have a tool to help you to uh, resolve the conflicts. If you right click, you can see you have an option called Edit Conflicts. Right. So we go there and it will pop up some window to compare the two versions and the final version. So you can see here, um, this, so the right part will be the conflicts, right? You want to resolve them. So for this case, so we want to uh, have both these chains. So we want to have uh, this this block, this block here. Select them and use this block uh, from um, before theirs. We have both. So you can see in the bottom here is the final version you will have, and also we have the bottom one. We want to use this text block, this block. Use this block. You can see this. Use this block and click save. Mark as a result. And okay. So let's go back to our code. You can see it disappear, right? So it means the result has been solved. So in in this stage, what we got is we will have a code that will have both SWOT dash t SWOT tropical code also have the SWOT circulate code. Then we that will be on the base to compile uh, a version that can be used in the viewer. So let's go back. Uh, so let's go to the uh, Visual Studio and start to uh, compile the code. So uh, the special uh, parts of this viewer code is they had they using uh, circulate to save the output file, so you can quickly read through. Uh, to display in the interface. But Circulate is a C uh, library, so we need to create not just the Fortune project, we also need to create, a, um, also need to create a C uh, product to uh, to use them together. So first we want to create our traditional uh, Fortune product. Let's see, uh, we have Fortune. Order here in their fortune. You want to use this one, empty product. So I will give a name called CTT. And uh, you can give any name you want. So I just gave OK. So it's a fortune product. Then I will right click here and go add all the ex existing items. So I will go to the folder we create. So I think it's document. Here, uh, document, uh, what's that folder? So I think for circular, right? And here you want to select all the fortune code you have and put them into the product and all them. So that's our fortune uh, products. And then let's go to create another product. So this is the important part you want to uh, know. So this is for the uh, circular part. It's a C uh, library. Uh, what we want to have, we want to select the Visual C++, right? C++, and then select the uh, uh, B32 products, and then give a name called so Q-Light, and click OK. OK. Is all right. Okay, maybe the the folder, right? Oh, sorry. I think we should do something here. Uh, add new product. It's not new solution. Okay, sorry about that. So, but uh, yeah, let's continue. If I have Visual C plus plus, maybe you uh, select a Win32 and a Win32 product, 
and I give a name how to see you that. Okay, all right, I click OK and click Next, and we want to select this uh, static library, and uncheck this, and click Finish. And then that'll be the circuit library. So maybe I right click add the existing item. So and I go to the same folder and wrap repository folder go here and our repository folder. So you can see we have this three, we have three files. One C file, one H file. We want to add three item in this product. So that's our two products. One is the circulate C uh, library and another is the fortune ones. So um, how the things work is that the fortune product will uh, reference these uh, functions in the C library. So we want to tell the program like uh, uh, to connect them together. So we want to do is run select solution, not the product, the solution. And go to the property and uh, Select the product dependencies, and for this list, you want to select the fortune product. So for me, it's for the TDD, and check this circulate uh, library. So that means this product will depend on this. So if when they link do the link right to the compile, if they cannot find a function in this in that uh, product, they will try to find this function. So that's what we want. So click apply and OK. Um, I think in that case, everything is ready. We can just uh, compile them. Uh, let's do a uh, compile and we will build. Uh, start to build and uh, it will have a lot of warnings from circular, but it's OK. It just ignore them. So I don't think we will have error for that. So it's continue to uh, compile. It take a while. I think you have like a three so three. All right. So we finally finished of compiling. So uh, we want to check uh, what we got there. Uh, so we on the red uh, red fleet solution and open our file and go into back folder and sort by type. So you can see I uh, will generate some exe file. So uh, this file will be uh, your file you can use with the viewer. So that's the exe file. So you can just uh, copy that to the SWOT exe uh, folder in the uh, in the viewer. So uh, they will um, and it should be fun. Uh, but things right now uh, in the viewer. Um, we haven't uh, finished to allow any any number of the uh, any type of this uh, exe file to be run. Um, so uh, it, it may not to automatically show in the engine list. So um, in that case, per, uh, please contact me. So I will change the viewer to add your engine to the engine list so you can run with them. So another important one I want to cover is in the code you want to uh, make sure you change something called uh, and the uh, output file output file so if i search db3 in products you will find here so i think it's in this code uh, you want to go into this file here uh, hide out uh, and start circular dot f file so you will look into something here so basically this will game is the the result the the, the result uh, database file you will generate from uh, from your program so basically if you do the daily you will use this file monthly use this file name and year use this file name. so basically you want to make sure you want to change this file name to make sure you have a unique file name, right? So if you, for example, if you already have, if you continue using this name, and when you run, you will overwrite the version 627 uh, database. So it means you cannot have them both in the same folder, right? Uh, so you want to make sure change this name to 
to something unique. If like I want to say uh, swan t because we are called swan t, right? Change swan t, right? And also swan t t. So something like that, right? So if right, make sure it's unique, right? So uh, so so you can compare with uh, other models like six twenty and seven version. So here you need to uh, change, make some change before you uh, continue uh, uh, do the compiling. Um, uh, what's another one is in the project setting, uh, you want to, if you want uh, to send this CXT file to other person to use, and uh, if they don't have the Fortran compiler on their computer, uh, it may not work. So in that case, you want to make sure you go to the property and uh, for the fortune and uh, let's see, it should be called library. So you want to select something called, uh, called this guy here. So debug multiple threaded. So you want to see, look into collapse static. So means you want to select this one, make it a static. Static means uh, when they compile, they will uh, integrate all some of the uh, Fortune libraries into your EXE file. So uh, even if that person don't have uh, that library, they still can run that EXE. Um, this is also uh, the standard version they use. When they distribute the EXE, they need to select this, so anybody can run that EXE. Make sure you do that. So again, similar for this uh, C, uh, C library, you will do the same thing and see where it is so here. You want to select the code generation uh, runtime library and here you want to select uh, I think it should be this should be this one. But it's ready debug uh, debug should be this one and right. And then you can compare them again, generate another EXE. Um, and I think uh, the last one will be uh, you have debug release version if you want to send other people and uh, probably use release version will be run much faster compared to the debug version and uh, the yes file will be much smaller also. Um, I think that's it and I uh, hope you got uh, uh, from this video you can uh, do that by yourself. Uh, I will have, have all the some of the links, some of the uh, description given below. Also, we will have post that um, more information in the blog, so you can the key information in the blog, so you can follow along. Yeah, just make sure after you put um, after you put in uh, the exe the ES, uh, the viewer installation folder, send me email, and I will change the viewer to make sure. Uh, that uh, engine, your modified engine can show in the engine list. Um, and so right now the viewer cannot show them all of them um, directly. Uh, I may change uh, that later to make that automatic, but right now um, you need to send me an email so I can change the viewer so may use your EXE file uh, properly. Um, okay, great. Uh, hope you guys uh, learned learning something I know maybe a lot for some of the guys because you may need some like a programming skills but uh, hopefully you can uh, uh, follow hope, you can follow along and uh, hope to see you guys in next video.